Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Tavi CFW. If any, whatever you want to call me, I'm about to show you guys how to make an SPRX loader on your eBoot. So, go ahead, make your eBoot really quick. So, I'm just going to put, you know, whatever, anti van, whatever for Black Ops 2. Yeah, select your region, you know. So, once you have that eBoot, you just download this file in the description. So, go ahead, get your eBoot out of there. Download this file in the description, which has the two programs that you need. So take your eBoot, put it inside of this folder right there. Open up the resigner.exe. For a DEX eBoot or a debug eBoot, you type in 4 and click enter. For a KEX eBoot, it's on the left side over here. So then once you click enter, it should say decryption finish. Press any key to continue. Press F. And then you could just, you know, exit out of there. So click on the SPRX elf builder.exe, run that, click on the epilepsies, click on your eboot.elf that it created last time, open that up, and then just type in the name of your SPRX. So let's say you wanted to, you know, let's say your SPRX is called blackops2.sprx, type in bo2 right there, type in build. And there you go, as you can see, sprx underscore eboot dot elf. So you can close out of that. Delete the eboot dot bin and eboot dot elf files. So go ahead, delete those. Now rename the eboot, the sprx underscore eboot dot elf to just eboot dot elf. So take off the sprx and the underscore gun resigner. Run. Type in 5. Click enter. It should do that. Press any key to continue. So then once you click any key and that clears, just click X and there you go. There's your eBoot.bin. It's going to load the SPRX, fine and dandy. It works with uh, key.txt and everything with uh, paid SPRXs. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Quickie.